Ah, stranger. Forgive the aroma. You catch a waft of something foul, metallic, and sickly sweet. Powdered iron vine. An old hunter's trick. Most monsters will think twice before making a meal of me. You're a monster hunter. I'm surprised. I thought all Gur were vagrant cutthroats. And more. We steal chickens, curse your crops, seduce your daughters, the list goes on. Oh, I wish I had half the power settled folk think my people possess. Alas, I am a simple wanderer. A simple wanderer and monster hunter. But I'm no witch doctor or cutthroat. True. And I have no proof to offer but my word. If you wish it, our paths need not cross again. I'm hunting a vampire spawn. And it's a little too bright for you to be my prey. His name is Astarian. But I fear he's gone to ground. I hope the hag of these lands can help me flush him out. If I can afford her blood price. Not this time. My orders are to capture him. Oh. Uh, and bring him where, exactly? Baldur's Gate. My people wait for me there. Thank you. Treating with a hag. I need all the luck I can get. May your road be kind. I had the strangest dream last night. There was a visitor promising me protection and all sorts of delicious powers from the parasites in our hands. Given our shared affliction, I suppose you had a similar dream. Excellent. Now we can see what these tadpoles can do for us. Is there a reason you're such an utter drip? I mean, do you have some sort of condition? Honestly, it's like you hate good news. Did you actually want something? Or are you just here to spoil my fun? So it would seem. Hopefully he bumps into some knolls while stumbling around at night and that's the last we hear from him. I didn't do anything. I was kidnapped, just like you. It seems Cazador wants me back. Cazador Tsar is a vampire lord in Baldur's Gate. The patriarch of his coven and a monster obsessed with power. He turned me nearly 200 years ago. I became his spawn. And he became my tormentor. It was him, I'm sure. Only he would know to send the Gur after me. It was a group of Gur that attacked me that night in Baldur's Gate. I would have died had Cazador not appeared and saved me. They may have no idea who they're working for. Cazador likely paid someone to pay someone to call in a favor, and here we are. He doesn't do simple plans. Not if he has a complex one that pits a dozen enemies against each other. No. This hunter is a message. Cazador's letting me know that even out here, he can get to me. He wants me back. Maybe he wants to make an example of me, to show what happens to runaways. Or maybe he thinks death is too good for me. Aha! Safe! You think I'm safe? Do you know the power a vampire lord possesses? He can change shape, turn into mist, call walls to do his bidding, shrug off blows like they're nothing. He could walk into our camp tonight and kill you with his bare hands. And you'd be lucky if death was the worst thing that happened to you. Probably not. He has to rest in his crypt during the day. I've never known him to leave Baldur's Gate. 
But he has no end of lackeys. He'll send someone else in his place. We just have to be vigilant, keep our wits about us, and kill any monster hunters on sight. Ah, a fellow wanderer. Forgive the uh, aroma. You catch a waft of something foul, metallic, and sickly sweet. Powdered iron vine. Most monsters will think twice before making a meal of me. An old hunter's trick. If you can't mask your scent, spoil it. <laughs> Perhaps that's why I've survived so long. Where more fearsome peers have not. You would be wise to look past the seeming of things, if you intend to bargain with the lady of this house. That is why you came to her lair, I take it, to bargain. A more innocent name than some I could call her. But it is what she is that ought to concern you. Her kind have hidden among us since the first darkness. And their knowledge is matched only by their spite. Know how to ask, and they'll share that knowledge. If you're fool enough to pay their price. A powerful friend. A terrible foe. That, I cannot decide for you. For my part, I need her knowledge. The thing I hunt has gone to ground. If she can tell me how to flush him out, I'll pay whatever price she asks. Truth is like a blade, my friend. We can arm ourselves with it, or just as easily find it pressed against our throat. I would not put you in danger. No. This duty is mine alone. But for such an offer, an answer at least is owed. I hunt a vampire spawn called Astarian. I'm bound to bring him back to Baldur's Gate, alive. Though I cannot swear to his condition once my tribe are done with him. Is he known to you? My people were recently attacked in the night. Our camp set upon by a band of vampire spawn. In the chaos of battle, one of them stole away with our children. And we've been searching for them ever since. We believe this Astarian knows exactly what happened that night and where to find our little ones. If captured, my people will make him talk. So I ask again, is he known to you? You do know him? I don't suppose you'll tell me where he is. As you say, then I must redouble my efforts and pray my delay costs no more lives. Well, hello. What can I do for you? What? Who? What happened? A girl? What are those vagabonds? Why would they... Cazador. <laughs> of course he'd send a girl to hunt me down. Verse, they make excellent monster hunters, so find a vampire spawn sounds perfectly reasonable to them. Second, they're the reason I'm like this in the first place. It was a group of Gur that attacked me that night in Baldur's Gate. I would have died had Cazador not appeared and saved me. They may have no idea who they're working for. Casador likely paid someone to pay someone to call in a favor. And here we are. He doesn't do simple plans. Not if he has a complex one that pits a dozen enemies against each other. No. This hunter is a message. Casador's letting me know that even out here, he can get to me. He wants me back. Maybe he wants to make an example of me, to show what happens to runaways. Or maybe he thinks death is too good for me. 
Concerned? Do you know the power Vampire Lord possesses? He can change shape, turn into mist, call walls to do his bidding, shrug off blows like they're nothing. He could walk into our camp tonight and kill you with his bare hands. And you'd be lucky if death was the worst thing that happened to you. Probably not. He has to rest in his crypt during the day. I've never known him to leave Baldur's Gate. But he has no end of lackeys. He'll send someone else in his place. We just have to be vigilant, keep our wits about us, and kill any monster hunters on sight. <laughs> 